Hi there, welcome back. Steve here again. I want to talk to you about the bolt-on section of this Lean Fast Rapid Fat Loss program and just run through the four aspects of the, the, the add-ons that you can put in place to improve your results, um, get a little bit more out of it, and you can kind of do all of them some of them, one of them, and those are, we've got low intensity steady state activity, basically brisk walking. We've got high intensity interval training, you know, once, possibly twice a week further down the road if you want to, to replace a couple of walking sessions. Uh, we've got frequency training, and we've also got carbohydrate cycling. It's a kind of advanced technique that I really, don't want anyone to be using when they first start this program, you know, trying to push it along quicker, 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 because that's usually a recipe for getting overwhelmed, not eating enough, struggling with your training, and giving up and saying, ah, just another diet plan that doesn't work. So stick with things as they are to start with, and in order of um, implementation, if you want to call it that, within the rapid fat loss program that I've put together, you can add these things in a little bit at a time, one at a time, monitor the effect they have on your body, on how you feel, those type of things, and go from there. Okay, first one, and that's the subject of this video. I'm gonna do it over four videos because it keeps it short. Don't wanna be doing a 30 minute video and boring the crap out of you. So the first one is this. Low intensity, steady state, often called low intensity, steady state cardio. I don't like to use the term cardio. We're basically talking about aerobic training using uh, your aerobic system. So that's working at a low intensity, uh, conversational pace, something that you can go and easily do for 20, 30, up to 60 minutes a few times a week. That could be up to six times a week. I always like to have one day off where you just forget the whole thing and don't do anything at all. So once you've got your macros in place and you've started working on the program, you've got the strength training component sorted out, you know what you're gonna be doing. To add a little bit more energy use, on a day-by-day -day basis. And bearing in mind, this is gonna be quite a small amount of additional calorie burn. Um, we're gonna in introduce some brisk walking up to six times a week. So you can do this on training days, you can do it on rest days, and it's fine. It's not gonna exhaust you. You're gonna be walking. Where you're gonna come home, say you're wearing a, a sweatshirt like this, a hoodie, and and a t-shirt, you're gonna walk at a brisk pace. You're not gonna just kind of amble. You're gonna put a podcast on, put an audio book on, some music. You know, we're not talking about power walking. We're talking about brisk walking that you could do with somebody else. You could do with the dog on your own. And you're gonna, you're not certainly gonna not gonna be blowing hard. You're gonna be possibly slightly out of breath if you're going up hills. You're gonna come home. You're gonna be a little bit sticky. So. That's the kind of thing, the calorific, caloric use from doing brisk walking is, depending on how fast you walk, how much weight you're carrying around, how big you are, it's not a lot. We're often talking around, you know, let's average this, 200 cows per hour of brisk walking. So, what I want to say that that's gross calorie usage. That's not net calories. So as, as you've gone through the program, you'll know I've talked about basal metabolic rate, total daily energy expenditure, etc. Now, bear in mind that this 200, if you were lying in bed, let's say you're an average sized male. If you were lying on, in bed watching Netflix, you'll probably be burning around 70 cows an hour anyway. So your net additional calorie use from walking is only gonna be about 
130 additional calories. But let's say you're doing that six times a week. I can't even do the math. So 600, six threes, 18, 780 cows, additional calorie usage a week. If I've got that wrong, don't tell me. And, but it's not an amount to be sniffed at. Walking's good for you. It's good for your blood pressure. It's good for just general feeling of well-being. And you know, if you're doing that over a period of weeks, months, and you can do it, you enjoy it, it's, you don't dread it because you know that you're gonna absolutely knack yourself and kill yourself like you would do doing lots of really high intensity stuff, then it's worth doing just for a little bit of additional energy usage and just because it's good for you. So the first thing, You've got your macros in order, you've got your eating plan in order, you've got your strength training three times a week in order. The first rapid fat loss bolt on is low intensity, steady state aerobic activity. Walking, it could be playing frisbee. It could be throwing a ball for the dog and running after it. It could be gentle push bike riding. It could be sitting on a static bike watching TV. You know, it doesn't have to be walking, but it is something that you're going to be doing at a conversational pace where you could talk to somebody, but possibly on occasions you'll be starting to breathe a little heavier. So that's that for this video. Implement that right at the start if you want, but do not, sound like a dictator, don't think I'm not going to do the strength training, I'm just going to do this instead. You'll still lose weight, but the purpose of this program is to build lean muscle mass, which is metabolically active, which is going to burn more calories in the future. Um, and it, as you built lean muscle, apart from the fact that you'll be more physically capable and able to perform different activities that maybe you struggled with in the past, you know, we're looking to build a good functional athletic body and in the next video i'll be talking about high intensity interval training which is another bolt-on that as you become comfortable with your training and if you've got good recovery you can introduce that as well okay see you on the next one